Oh, hello, Intergos and the Frenchels. It's Dull. Welcome back to my kitchen. Yeah. On Tasty Swing, I'll be serving you the best lightning deck that I can come up with for the next standard rotation. Meaning, in about a month when lots of cards get rotated out, this deck will still be here and still be strong. In fact, this build can compete in this current meta too. Just a testament of how strong it is. But you don't believe me? Okay, so let me explain to you first uh, how this works. And you're going to see it for yourself in three awesome matches. So, let's get started. Okay, now, let's start off with Raik. And let's say that he wants to be a bodybuilder. He wants a six pack, because that's what he needs to one shot the ex Pokemon. Hmm? Okay, maybe not a six pop, but how about six energy? Thunderlands, for every energy, lightning energy, on this guy, it does 20 extra damage. So math, six. Remember I said six? If you have six lightning energies, it does 170 damage. But Donald, six energy is a lot. Not with this build, but let's let's keep going with the math. If he actually has a fighting fury belt now, because you know he's a bodybuilder, you get 10 extra damage, 180, and pretty much most EX Rogue ones start off with up to 180 hit points. So as long as they're not wearing this with themselves, he will one shot them. Okay. Now he also gets 40 more hit points for this. So his 120 hit point goes up to 160. But that's, that's it. He has an ability called Sex Body. I'm rating that right. Yes, if there's a lightning energy, it's like Pokemon, then any attack going onto him gets reduced by 20. So maybe that might go up to 180 hit points that you need to one shot this thing. So, oh man, you're not an EX Pokemon, but with all those stats, that's crazy. And you know, just adding the rub seeds, heal off 20 every single turn. Raikou, you may not be a DX Pokemon, but you sure are a monster. Okay, so the only thing that, that you know, the probably you're, look, you're looking at is, how do I get lots of energies on this guy? I mean, I'll go attach one per turn, and this is where Magnezone comes in. It's in the zone, Robot auto zone, you stop Play your commercials because you're getting these things stuck in my head. Autos, Magnezone, Magnetic Circuit. As often as you like, you can attach energies, lightning energies, as often as you want. As long as they're in your hand, just dump them all in. So yes, if you are holding six energies for Raikou, well, that's it. You, you you got it. Instantly charge this thing up, one shot, good to go. So this combo has been around for a while and. It's still going to be effective, so we just need to you know, keep it up to date. And who we're going to throw in? We're going to throw in Jolteon EX just to help out because, hey, he is an EX Pokemon. He automatically starts off with 160 hit points. He doesn't need no Fighting Fury about which still works anyway to go to 200 hit points. Whoa! And Flash Ray. Very leading energy cost. I mean, DCE Lightning Energy, 70 measly damage, but no basic Pokemons can attack him. This is pretty powerful. This is why he's one of the most expensive lightning cards around, because this effect is good. Now you're like, oh yeah, a new supporters like Poker Rangers coming out. You need 200 damage to one shot this thing. So good luck, a Poker Ranger may get maybe a hidden, but he's gonna heal a lot, run away. So, woo, still a great card. And these are our three lightning attackers. Now, deck engine. How do we set all this up, especially this Magnus? Well, I'm not going to use Rare Candy this time, guys. I am going to use Wally because, well, it technically kind of is Rare Candy, but it does work on things like our Sushi Master, draw cards, and you have more uh, leeway on what you can use it on. Because you can use it on the Magnemite, you can use it on a Magneton, you can use it on three different cards instead of, you know, just helping this evolution chain. In which you'll see that that helps out, which is a, oh yeah, while he's in here, we kind of casually talked about them, and Octillery, Sushi Master, what kind of deck engine works with that? Lots of items, so we're going to use Ultra Balls, Level Balls, Evo Sodas, and just quickly get the chain up, and I'm using Verse Seekers because they're still around, they're still great, we're going to use Fishermen, because when, you know, Pokemon goes down, they, they, 
that, that's part of trading. You can just get four energies back, up, toss it onto another Raikou, and he's good to go. So that's four energies, uh, math, 130 damage. Yeah. For a single turn. And you can just keep on doing it over and over with for a seeker. So, yeah, very easy. Now, we do it, Lysander. It's just to drag out the weak Pokemon. N nuke them out. Get prize cards. We have ends and Sycamores. We're running plenty of them because they're, st they're still very good draw supporters. Even if they combo with Sushi Bastard, you can get tons of card pulls and they're just... They're just supporters that go into every single deck. Now, I have one single float stone. It's not enough for everybody, so I do have escape robes. Because escape robes tend to lead to very interesting situations when I force my opponent to switch. Okay, so energies wise, we have some flash energies. Just some, because it does not work with Magnuson, but it does help me against fighting matchups, which you'll see. Probably in the very first match. And we have Tum DCEs, because actually everybody can use this, but the only efficient card it works on is Jolteon. But sometimes you may need to quickly charge up Raikou so it can actually just do some damage, and maybe some damage is enough. So it's still a versatile card, works with every Pokemon. And eight energies. It's lightning deck. Are we done? Okay, so recap. These are our cars. This is our main energy acceleration. This is the Octillery deck engine. Plenty of items, plenty of draw supporters. Everything clicks together. So let's actually kick some butt with this. Here we go. I gotta say, you know, the first two legendary three sets, and what I mean is Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno, and Raikou, Entei, and such, they were the best triple legendary. Because afterwards, there were genies, there were robots, and I don't know what Azelf and those guys are like, aliens. It all just went down after that. So, yeah, Raikou, you're part of the best, uh, best two sets. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, welcome to another Raikou match. And I'm going to play Megalovania from Undertales. I think that's all that I should do because I want to save this for Magneton. So I'm going to wait. And yep, that's it. I couldn't... Well, that's my first turn. I couldn't attack. And what in the world? Fighting Stadium. That's not good. But I got something, a little something to deal with that. And, and uh oh. Well, you know, my hand wasn't that great. If I, and I get an extra card. It may help me out. So Maddox... What, what sort of deck? Okay, fighting deck, what am I afraid of? It would be, I would be afraid of a... What's that new Pokemon that came out? Zygarde. Yes, I'm afraid of Zygarde. Are you here, Zygarde? We will see. So, Corna. Ah, uh, this tech is going all the way. Maybe, um, Garchomp. I'm so... There is Garchomp. And luckily, she cannot evolve it this turn. Okay. And we can bring the Gibble out. Oh, we can force it out. Oh, it has a Focus Sash. Oh, and a Bursting Balloon on this. That means I'm not going to attack that. I think, you know what? I unfortunately will not be able to... Uh, you'll see what I'm going to do. So, let's go ahead and put down Magnemite. I'm not going to be able to evolve you is what I wanted to finish. And we're going to put this on. I am going to play the Escape Row. It's going to force that card out. And I'm going to throw my Magnemite now, which because I got a free retreat. But let's not do that yet. Let's see what cards we get. My get uh, something. It is a Raikou and a Magneton. So let's go ahead and retreat because if I evolve the Magneton, I wouldn't be able to use the effect. So this is dangerous because if she, can set, she can set up and do something to me. But... Let me go ahead and soft it so I have a chance to get rid of it and I don't have to deal with that um, bursting balloon. So, whew, this could be bad. Ooh, it's not Corna, it was N. Yes, this is gonna help me out, give me more cards, and she has to rely on a bit of luck. I mean, she can land rare candy, she can land that guard chop. And given this moment, pause, it's looking good, otherwise, unless it's the, you know, oh, my bad. There, okay, so Focus Sash, good. I don't like to see the card. And we see Gabite. Ooh, it's not the rare candy. It's taking the long way around. By that time, Gabite will get knocked out. So, screwed. 
That's it. 60 damage. I don't take the weakness. Wait, wait, why is that 60? Ah, everything added together. Okay, so here goes the next energy. Here goes this. Let's go ahead and give you more stuff. Let's go ahead and throw the stadium in. Heal. Oh my gosh, this is such an epic opener. Like, I get Magnus Zone. I get the whole shebang. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards out. What sort of support do I have, uh, Wally? Not what I'm looking for. But I can. You know, my hand may get shuffled away. This is never hands around. Let's go ahead and just get the Raikou charged up. Because why not? Here, and... Uh, yeah. There we go. Let's go ahead. I can, uh... I can go for prize cards. You know what? Let's take advantage of a supporter. And let's go ahead and be bold. Let's go ahead and use Flash Ray. Get two prize cards instead of one. And now I... I'm leaving up the Garchomp alive, which may come and bite me back. So, she may get a chance, bring Garchomp out, there's the last energy, and maybe Garchomp's in her hand. And if it's gonna hit me, it... Oh, there's the rare candy! Sycamore! Ooh, can she set up? It, that's it. That's the Ultra Ball. I there sh This should get the Garchomp. So, Garchomp is gonna come out, but she needs another Pokémon. She really needs another Pokemon. So, this, it, it does have enough damage. There's a strong energy right there. Jolteon is gonna get knocked out. And, uh oh, there's a Verse Seeker. So, you know, no, it was a risk that I took last turn. But I think this this could be G this is GG if I pull an energy card. So, I lost my Jolteon. I'm sorry, man. I was being uh, you know aggressive, and we need. Oh. We don't have an energy guard. Let's go ahead and add this to you. Let's go ahead and pull uh, pull one more card out. And what could this be? And this... Not an energy. So, I'm gonna have to pull an escape rope. Eject. And send somebody out. Ooh, an extra turn for my opponent is never ever good. So, let's go ahead and since this is all I can do, we're gonna go ahead and evolve it. And I'm gonna end my turn. So now, I'm afraid of a Lysander. I'm afraid of the going for my Raikou, but it's no real big deal yet. So, ooh, this is a turnaround. I sh maybe I shouldn't have let Garchomp uh, survive. But this is not an EX Pokemon. It does do double damage so she's like oh, can't believe it can't believe it pull the energy do not pull the energy because i just had too many cards and i don't have a draw sport not a single end not a single sycamore yet so whew. it looks like this game will be more interesting for you that is otherwise if i ended it right there with jolteon okay okay corna corna is gonna look for gibble and what what would he what other card a verse seeker so the next turn she can verse seeker she can corner and she can pull something but with that so many cards in hand it is gonna be really easy to set up another guard chop and guard chop because she already played a supporter i'm not gonna be, have to worry too much about a um a lysander so weakness damage it goes down 160 but it's only gonna be worth one prize card okay so now that my hand is much smaller <laughs> I can actually pull cards. Here we go. It's Fisherman. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. And I, I know how many cards are in my hand. But let me go ahead and pull, pull more stuff. Because once I activate Fisherman, it's all going to be... You definitely need this energy. Let's go ahead and Fisherman because... Uh, I, I don't want to waste a potential supporter. And let's go ahead. I don't think Magnemite should go down. Let's go ahead, Magnetic Circuit. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we know it, Donald. Let me go ahead and put this energy here. I am gonna save one energy because I may need it to get the one-shot KO on this. So, just thinking ahead. And let's go ahead and use... You know, I may, I may just toss this down as bait. Thunder Lance! Gotcha, 120 damage. And you see, this is why I need the next energy. In case I do survive, you can't do double damage to me, and I have technically 180 hit points. I should be able to knock this out. Unless there's a Focus Sash that comes on, which is going away next expansion. So, 
She's pulling Corda, and maybe if she has the rare candy. I mean, look at that hand. It's huge. And where are you, man? That's like, ah, oh, I'm back here, Donald. You gotta find me. I mean, I'm in mean, like your deck. All four of us. It is gonna be the eco arm. Ooh, why is the eco arm being picked? Oh, three focus ash have been used up. So, that's why she's not getting any focus ashes. It might be on there. If it is, that kind of sucks. So, bursting balloon. One bursting balloon. Guys, this may be it if she does not have a focus sash or another basic Pokemon. That's it. So, you see why I was saving that energy? Dump it on. I've won the game. I'm just going to use Thunder Lance. And that is 140 damage. Clean shot. Got it. Ooh, against a fighting deck too. So, yeah, I, I, you saw those splash energies did help me out. And it was pretty good. I could have nailed the game much sooner if I hit the Jolteon and just like sniped off her, uh, you know, her guard chomp. But it turned out more fun this way. Okay, when you actually play, don't risk that. So, moving on, moving on. Don't you find it a little strange that you don't see any Jolteons guarding Pokemon gyms? It's always Flareon and Vaporeon. There's a reason for that, but let's just say Pokemon Go is just designed that way to not like Jolteon. So, I'm sorry Jolteon, but at least you have your day today. Anyways, welcome to another Jolteon match. I'm going to play Kyurin Hakus from Noragami. And what are we going to go against? It is Seismato and Lugia. Ooh, okay, so... Item lock is a really bad problem. And luckily, I'm not running a rare candy based well, sword deck, otherwise I'd be in trouble with Bursting Balloon. Oh, come on. Now, this only does 30 damage. This does lock items. I don't have any items in my deck. Uh, I'm sorry, I did my hand. I was about to... S <laughs> this thing shows up. Uh, why don't you finish your sentences, Don? Okay, since he has his Bursting Balloon, I'm definitely not going to attack that. I could wait and evolve my Magnus Zone, but come on. There I could get six more cards that may be useful. Maybe not, but we'll see. So... And I got the hand with a bunch of items. That's okay. I'll just go ahead and do this. And of course, I'm not gonna attack. Why would I take the damage? Why would I take 50 damage, 60 damage for? That would be crazy. So I'm not gonna attack. And once the stadium is out, I'll be okay. And he's not gonna wait. He's using <sighs> the grenade hammer, but that's gonna free me from the ion block. But it will. Jolteon, you're one turn too late. You're one turn too late otherwise. Ooh, and he knocks... Well, he hurts some of his Pokemons back there for 30 damage. So, who's going out? Of course, the lower Magneton. Now, as long as I can pull out anybody out, any of my base Pokemon, we're okay. So, let's go ahead and activate this evil. So, let's go ahead and get this Magneton up. I can force switch. I am probably going to do that. So, yeah, here we go. Let's go ahead and force the switch. And... Is well, Seismito is gonna go back. Lugia's go for it. I'll send Sushi Master out. There's no real good choice. Here's your retreat energy, Sushi Master. There's no real good choice. Let's go ahead and use Abyssal Hand and see what else we can get. We're gonna grab out Raikou. And we do have a Magnezone. And since I hate hey, this ability is up, let's go ahead and attach this onto Raikou so there's no way he can get knocked out. And that's all I can do. I'm just going to go ahead, I'll retreat my Sushi Master, and as long as he survives another turn, I will be okay. Which I think will be okay, but I'm... Yeah, there's no way he can go down! And wow, a double colors energy! I was like, double rainbow, but no, heals... You don't see potion much! Because it's not it's usually not worth your deck space, but there it is. It heals it completely, but this thing has weakness to me. So if I can get it up next turn, if I pull a single lightning energy card, I will one-shot KO this. But unfortunately, that Seismitoad will KO me. Now, I need draw power. I really don't want to use this bench space up, but I just have no choice. So, Sushi Master, what can you get for me, man? Can you get me a lightning energy? Excellent. And you're going to get me some very nice stuff. So, I don't need Lysander. I sort of do need Lysander, actually, but we'll, ooh, it's okay for now. Let me go ahead and discard these two. And we need Jolteon, Raikou. I think Jolteon will mess him up. 
because I don't see anything that can evolve except that Lugia, but let me go ahead and use this. Let me go ahead and use Magnetic Circuit. This will one-shot the Lugia. Alright, and... You know, I can. I still have more. More to do, so let's go ahead. Ooh, seven cards. Nope, six cards in your hand. That's gonna go all the way down to four. Wow, giving me six more cards, so definitely a good choice. And Rough Seas. Oh, Rough Seas is not gonna heal me enough, but... Well, let's just go ahead and use it. I'm gonna save the Floatstone, okay? And... Is Fisherman down there? That's okay. That's okay. Let me go ahead and use the Rough Seas. I don't need to attach another energy. You know what? Something might happen. Something dangerous. So let's just go ahead and attach this on. And let's go ahead and attach this right here. Let me go ahead and use Thunder Lance. One shot this Lugia. 220 damage. Comeback time. Here we go. And how many hit points do I have? My effective hit points is 130, so Grenade Hammer is enough to knock me out. And of course, it's going to heal himself up. But once Jolty has himself, what can he do to me? That, that particular supporter isn't up, and Judge? Okay, uh, that's I have one less card. It isn't a huge deal, and with Sushi Master, I'm pretty much good. I'm good, guys, so I'm not going to get item locked, luckily. 110 damage. Sorry, Raikou. There's nothing I can do about that. And he just pretty much put his Lugia halfway mark. So, Jolteon, all I just need is energy cards. And let's go ahead and make sure that you won't get K'd, though. Let's go ahead and drop this down here. Alright, before I make my move, I would rather just use the Fisherman than just dump everything onto this Jolteon. I, I just don't have Fisherman. So, let me go ahead and load all you up, all with items. If I sick him more, I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to waste all these potentials. Nice, nice stuff. I have no choice. I have no choice. I have to lose the Burst Seeker and the Lysander. And there's the Fisherman. And not enough energies. We have no choice. We just have to attach this here. And I have to use Swift. So, it's 40 damage. I'm going to give him extra... A little bit of free time and this he can just heal this off but after next turn he's gonna be in a bit of trouble so here we go Pokemon fan club yep you better get more cards out Articuno okay I guess he was just this is gonna be of no use four energies find eyes what's that for and all these little itty bitty fresh water okay I didn't expect that I guess this is how he's trying to mitigate his... Okay, so, a very unorthodox dex, but it's sort of working out. He's been healing his Pokemon off with items, and now with a Lucky Helm, it may, you know, turn the tide. So, let me go ahead and grab out all the energies. And can, uh, if four energies go on this, can I knock it out? Let me think. 80 damage, plus 100... Oh, it's not enough. So, we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and attach this energy here. And why not? Let's go ahead and use Magnetic Circuit and charge up our Raikou. Because he is definitely our next in line. And... Uh, I'm glad it's so much faster this way. So, let's go ahead and use Flash Ray. He's going to get more cards. I'm... I pretty much drew out my entire deck. And so, he, uh... Well managed to go so far without drawing stuff. That's just the power of the Seismato, guys. So now, Tierno! Alright! That actually, you know, other than playing Sycamore, that got him quite a bit of cards. Better than playing any other supporter other than Sycamore. And you get to serve the ball. So, I'm pro Tierno in this game. And Articuno is going to get the energies. Strangely. And now, he can block me from using items? I don't really care. And he's weak enough so that Raikou can come out and one-shot him only if I had another energy card. Am I doing it? Only if I had another energy card. So, Grenade Hammer. He should have just item-locked me. He just damaged him for f this Pokemon for free. Okay, in that case, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And now, since I get a free KO, let's just go ahead and retreat. And we're going to go ahead and use Thunder Lance. This should knock you out. You can get another two uh, free cards, but the size of Toad's over. Of course, if he, if he item locked me, he couldn't have stopped it. Valuable Verse Seeker is right here. 
Who's coming out? Lugia. Why? Because it's just here to buy time. I need to, once I KO two Pokemons, it's over. So, Rupsies really work, syncs up really well in Seismitoad. Unfortunately, Seismitoad is going away next expansion. And I'm gonna heal it up. It's weakness to me. My damage is just so insane right now that there's nothing that can survive this. Oh, actually, Articuno, it'll survive. It'll survive. So, we do have a Magnezone. Let's go ahead and evolve it. I'm pretty good. Let's just go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And I'm gonna use Thunder Lance. Take a... How much? 240 damage. Woo! Not quite enough to take out this card because it has the Hard Charm, which is also going away. Although, nobody's been using Hard Charm in quite a while. So, Articuno. You need a DCE. Obviously, he doesn't have a DCE, so he's gonna Shana. And... Technically, I have four returns to draw cards left, but if I can just shuffle back with, and it doesn't really matter at all. So, at this point, he knows there's nothing left. He's got no more Pokemon. He's got nothing charged up to fight, and I, I got everything right here. So, that was very troublesome at the start because he did have momentum with the item lock with the very powerful seismitoe but afterwards he didn't his deck wasn't built to have long-term momentum as i did with everything else so yeah just go back fix your deck engine add in a couple of support cards but you should be good Anyways, let's move on raiku and raichu Boy, I bet uh, those two get confused often. I mean, yeah, they're both electric Pokemon, and you always want to say Raichu, because that's the Pokemon that you know more. <laughs> we gotta get a Sushi Master up first. <laughs> uh, let's focus on the game. Let's focus on the game. So, welcome to another Raikou uh, Magnezo match. I'm gonna play this game from No Game No Life, and alright. Let's see. I'm going against a Shaman. I have no idea what this deck could be. So, let's just go ahead and toss down a Raikou. There we go. Didn't say Raichu. And let me go ahead and pull out some uh, cards. Sushi Master, what can you get for me? Ooh, nice. DCE? Yeah, why not? And you do have a free retreat at this point, but hey, you know, it's a shield. It's only worth one prize card, so... I get free retreat due to its sparkling induction ability. So, I'm good. I don't have to do anything else. And, oh, if I had the other Magnezone, I could easily just retreat, evolve it, and get everything to go next turn. So, oh, it's, is it this deck? It could be this deck, the Typhlosion deck, the one that one energy explosion deck. Ooh, I, 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 I didn't mean to rhyme like that. So, what sort of build is this? So, okay, well, he discarded the energy, got some more cards, and he needs to wait it out this turn to be safe, okay? I gotta take caution. Oh, no, this is not gonna help me so much. Let's go ahead. I'll take a risk. I will take a risk. Let's see if I can pull out a Magneton. I think I'm gonna need energies, guys. You know what? Let's take a risk. Let's take this risk because this is not so good. I am going to help him out and give him some more cards. I am a little bit worried. Because if things go wrong, we we could be in big trouble. So, let's go ahead and just put this energy right here. I am going to wait. And at this point, his Typhlosions may be good to go. So, we're going to... There goes energy. I believe he's going to retreat if he has all the cards in his hand. So, there's Rare Candy. There's Typhlosion. And the pain starts, of course. He's got to take... He's got to finish this game very quickly. Okay, so I am not going to get a Magnus Zone up in time. And Massive Eruption. Ooh, it missed quite a lot. It only did one energy. So, this build is looking... Okay. I'm not gonna say anything else. Let's go ahead and send out Raikou. How much? It can only survive two energies. Can you believe that? So let's go ahead and load you up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some more cards out. Come on, Magnezone. Okay. 
that's good enough. We have a Magneton. So, Magneton, go ahead and come out. And Magnezone's right here. I don't think that I really have to play an end, but I'm going to get more cards, and then maybe I'll be potentially use those cards. So, all right, we got Wally. For sure, Magnezone's going to come out. But just in case I want to toss something just to buy time, we'll just send you out. Should I go for a one-shot? I could just retreat. Let's go ahead, Thunderlance. 100 damage, one more shot, should go down. Alright, so let's see how well he can keep momentum up. And he's got Quilava, he's got another Raikou down. Five energies come back into his deck, so the good chance of very good massive eruption. Wow, you were so unlucky. Oh. I can't complain. I'm not going to complain. You know? Okay. I have a. Uh, I'm going to get Magnezone up for sure. Let's go ahead and play Wally. And. The odds are, as long as he discarded two energies, one more energies, it would have been okay. But he did not. And that just sucks. Now, Jolteon does have two-shot potential. I'm going to be risky. I should just dump everything to Jolteon, get some more cards. But I'd rather have a Raikou. And all I'm just getting is Jolteon, which is worth a lot more prize cards than it should. And the damage is only two shots. I can't do a one-shot like a Raikou. But, you know... We just have to deal with it. I don't want to drop the Jolteon. I want another spot for my uh, Raikou. So, here we go. We're going to go ahead and attack this and take a single prize card. It's not worth that much, but he pretty much may have another Typhlosion to go. So, he sends it up. If he does not, he has at least a free retreat. Just need a Typhlosion card. And, oh, he's stuck. He might be stuck. Okay. So this is a level ball. Got another Quilava, so he... I don't see the Typhlosion. And Skyla... Ah, that's Typhlosion. That should be an Ultra Ball. Yeah, that's the Ultra Ball. So, Ultra Ball is going to go ahead and discard those two. Woo. And there's no more cards after this. So... That's the balance. You, you can't have too many energies, and you can't have too many items and 120 there we go and there's still the rng so he got it this time got the prize card knocked out two of my pokemon and so jolteon is not going to be able to go for the two shot i can go hurry this up and get two prize cards or i can try to neutralize the threat You know what? I have to drop this down. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull these two extra cards because after Sycamore, I don't think I'll be able to pull in many much cards. So, I do have an energy. I don't really don't want to attach energy to Jolting out, but let's just go ahead. We have to. We have to. I cannot play in. Otherwise, it's gonna help him out. So, there's the Raikou I wanted. And, you know, since Magnus right, is right here, let's go ahead and evolve it to Magneton. And next turn, it should be a Magnezone quite easily. Yeah. I'm definitely going to use uh, that card instead. So, we're going to use Flash Ray. It is an evolved Pokemon, so I do not get the immunity shield that it gets. And he needs three energy cards. Three energy cards will knock out this Jolteon, bring him pretty darn close to getting a knockout, which is bad. So, two energy cards. I lived. If I did not have Flash Ray, I would have died. So, he's a bit unlucky with his... Pulls, I guess part of it's luck, part of it maybe energy. So we are gonna go ahead and load this up. I'm not. I'm gonna be aggressive. We're gonna just go ahead and discard these two. I don't need the Raikou, but I am gonna go ahead and pull some more cards out. If I end, this will probably help him out significantly, which I'm not gonna end. I'm gonna save this card. Do I'm going to save this card. We're going to go ahead and heal him up just a bit. And once this guy goes down, he should run out of gas. I think. Then we got another Rimberade. And Cyndaquil comes up. 
you need exactly a rare candy and a Typhlosion. So, I think this could be it. I think this is it. So, it's gonna Ember. And because of the healing, I survived. GG, we both know it. I'm just gonna heal up. Just, you know, and I'm gonna... You know, let's just go ahead and say GG back. And, uh, that's it. Oh, that actually pauses when you open chat. Okay, so... He's realized he's got no more cards. I realize that. I'm just gonna finish the game. Had he pulled an extra energy, just one extra energy, just one extra energy at certain points, I could be in a lot more trouble because then he would have gotten the one shot KOs that he needed, got prize cards, and. Yeah, just one energy off. And with that many energies, how this deck is built, how that deck is built, if it's built off based off my deck, then that sucks. That sucks, but another day, another time, that full type flow should got just one more fire energy. I could be in trouble. Maybe I could have momentum, maybe I didn't. But in this case, I got a lucky break. Pretty lucky. Okay, so moving on, moving on. You made it to the very end well thank you and congratulations so it is time we rate this day I'm gonna give it a B plus which is pretty darn high because I think this deck can take on a lot of other decks out there and if you have that ability that says something and well, why can I do that well first of all weakness does every deck can every deck take care of its own weakness? This one can because of its flash energy, damage, and stats. Yeah, it's got the damage and stats. Yeah, all these Pokemon, 180, 200 hit points? Easy! And with all the healing with, well, the defensive effects that both Pokemons have on them, makes them very versatile. And they sorta got the damage. He definitely got the damage, and this guy, Two shot potential. This guy, not quite two shot potential, but with the flash ray effect, it's. Hey, I mean, he's, this thing is pretty game changing right here. So, the whole kit all together lacks a little bit of damage. Just a little bit. That's it. It can take on everything. So, we got your evolved Pokemon. I I've said that. I said that. So, yep. I think this thing will still be a contender in the next meta. Yeah, and it's still good in this meta because Jolteon seems to be able to destroy Night March decks, and this thing fights Trepton decks off real well. Hmm, okay. So, it doesn't go win the game of speed quite yet, so that's why it falls just a little behind, but after uh, after next uh, rotation, we'll see about that. We'll have to take a look. So, I got high expectations, I got high hopes, and I think that's it for this deck. So, next time, we're gonna do a foil. We're gonna do a really similar strategy and see how it compares using Trepton instead of Raikou. Okay, and I know it, there's another Magnus Zone, the plant version in the, well, the plant side. So we'll get to find out how this thing stacks up you know, the plant way. Very similar strategy, and that's up for next time. No, it's not this Trepton. This Trepton gets the sunshine. Alright, so please like, subscribe, because more videos like this come your way. And if you like any of the songs here, you can find the higher, better quality versions on iTunes, Spotify, but they're all in the YouTube playlist as well. And I think that, that may be it. Thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenches. I'll see you back in my kitchen next time for Trent say goodbye yet because normally I read comments here tell you the truth it is getting quite tough to put in 10 minutes of comments every single video every single one of them back or even just editing videos and that like just editing the comments it's just becoming very troublesome to do it but I still appreciate I read all your comments and I have to think of something and for now, I think we'll just have to satisfy with me just typing that back. Because 
Well, I'm not going to do it for everyone's, but just show you I'm there. And I really appreciate it, guys. So I won't edit into the video, but still, thank you. Thank you very much. I will see you next time for Tread and Break, Integrals and Differentials. Bye-bye.